Dan Lewis, obviously you've had great success in high school as a wrestler and in college as a, as a wrestler and competitor and as a Division I head coach. Uh, who are the individuals that uh, had the greatest impact on you and kind of spurred you to that level of success? That'd have to be uh, Vern Wagner and um, Wayne McKaylin, my high school head coach and assistant coach. Both of those individuals uh, taught me a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, positive fundamentals and, and uh, influenced me in, as role models in mm -hmm. my life. And, and I wanted to em emulate them once I got uh, to a higher level to the, eventually be a coach. And uh, they motivated me a great deal in that direction. Mm -hmm. As a young wrestler, did you have any idols that you looked up to? Actually, I did not. Uh, that's kind of an odd thing, I suppose. but. Uh, I, I really, really never looked up to any of the uh, college wrestlers at the time, um, so I didn't really have an idol. So you just enjoyed that. the sport and that's what motivated you to do it? Yes, I enjoyed that a lot. Who got you started and how did you get started in wrestling? It was uh, Vern Wagner, actually I was a, um, I played three sports my freshman year at Fountain Valley and, and uh, football, basketball and track, and then uh, Vern Wagner was my government teacher and asked if I would be interested in coming out for wrestling, so I did. And, and uh, after about a month of that, I was hooked on the sport. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was because of him that I started wrestling. Uh, now, what part of your personality or character enabled you to be so successful? I was determined to win. I think it was, uh, I've looked back on that and had a chance to reflect on that. I think it was just a determination to win every match and and I think there was a certain you have to find your niche and I think wrestling was mine I'd done mm -hmm. other sports and and did well in those sports but wrestling was by far the best and uh, athletically that's what served that particular niche mm -hmm. for me do you have any moments or one moment that sticks out in your mind you've had a lot of successes is there anything that is outstanding in your mind as you're greatest moment? Probably as an athlete it had to be when I won the Pan Am Games in 79. I, all my uh, teammates had already won a gold medal up to that point and that was the first time that had happened and I was the last guy to wrestle and uh, I was pretty motivated to win and when I did win I was so excited to uh, represent the United States and mm. in that type of competition so that was a motivator and as a coach I I think it had to be when I won the, uh, was voted the NCAA Coach of the Year. It was like a, a dream almost. Oh, absolutely. It was so exciting and it took a while to realize it actually had happened. So, but it was it was a great time of my life. What made you decide to go into coaching once your competitive career was over? Well, the reason I got into teaching and coaching in my seventh grade year, a gentleman by the name of Ken Boyer, uh, who was his brother Cleet played for the St. Louis Cardinals, took me aside and said, Dan, I think you have the potential for earning a scholarship to college, but you're going to have to work on your, on your grades. And, and at that time, I um, hadn't even thought about going to college. And I knew after that meeting that uh, I was going to do several things. One, I was going to, um, I was going to work on my grades, go to college, and I was going to become a teacher and a coach so I could help young people like that person had helped me mm -hmm. and uh, I knew that's what I wanted to do after that. Now if yeah, you're still currently coaching and if you were to do things over would you uh, do things differently or I wouldn't do follow the same path? I'd pretty much follow the same path. Obviously there's a few things I might tweak a little bit but mm -hmm. overall no I'd pretty much do exactly what I've done. Um, you know, you got to make those mistakes sometimes, but yeah. um, overall, I think I've been in the right profession for myself, yeah. and my family. Uh, Dan, what would you like people to remember about you? Well, I would like for people to, at least the athletes that uh, competed for me, to think of me as a good role model for them and somebody that they could trust and and uh, and believe in and. Mm -hmm. um, that's how I 
really like to be remembered as best as possible. Well, I'm sure you've accomplished that well, <laughs> from my experience with you, Dan. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. And uh, congratulations once again for being inducted into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. And you know, thank you so much for your time. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate it.